This is Ramalakshmi Physics Faculty. Today our topic is Law of Reflection of Light in Vector Form. Let us draw a reflecting surface. When a light ray incident on this surface, along the direction of incident light ray, take a unit vector E1 cap. E1 cap is the unit vector along the direction of incident light ray. And now draw the normal perpendicular line to the plane surface. Take a unit vector along the direction of normal also. N cap is a unit vector outward to the normal. So here N cap is acting in upward direction. And now this incident ray makes an angle theta with the normal. This is called angle of incidence. So after touching to the reflecting surface, that light ray returns back into the same medium. Then we call that light ray is a reflected light ray. So along the direction of reflected light ray, take another unit vector E2 cap where E2 cap is called the unit vector along the direction of reflected light ray. Now reflected light ray also make the same angle with the normal. Why? Because we know angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So here also take the angle theta. So along the reflecting surface, that means along the tangential direction, take another unit vector T cap, where T cap is unit vector along the tangential direction. Even cap, unit vector along incident light ray. E2 cap is unit vector along reflected ray. N cap is unit vector along the normal in upward direction. And T cap is unit vector along the reflecting surface. So here T cap is acting along tangential direction. Take the Rectangular components of E1 cap and E2 cap. So now here angle is theta. Then here also angle is theta. So along this direction the component of E1 cap is mod E1 cap into cos theta. And along this direction component is mod even cap sin theta. Similarly, the components of E2 cap. So, E2 cap makes an angle theta in upward direction. So, here also angle is theta. Along this direction, component is mod E2 cap cos theta and along this direction, mod E2 cap sin theta. Here E1 and E2, these two are unit vectors. The magnitude of unit vectors is equal to 1. Mod E1 cap is equal to mod E2 cap is equal to 1. Now, write the vector representation of E1 cap and E2 cap. Even cap is equal to. So the first component is a 1 into cos theta because magnitude is equal to 1. So 1 into cos theta acting in downward direction. Actually the unit vector n cap is acting in upward direction. So in opposite direction the sign of this unit vector becomes to negative. So here n cap is negative. So minus cos theta into n cap and the second component is 1 into sin theta. This component is acting in the same direction of the tangential unit vector. So positive only. So plus sin theta into T cap. Next E2 cap is equal to E2 cos theta. So 1 into cos theta. This is acting in the same direction of n cap. So positive. 
cos theta into n cap and the second component 1 into sin theta acting in the same direction of the tangential unit vector positive only. So plus sin theta into t cap. Take this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. From 1 and 2 equations e2 cap minus e1 cap cos theta n cap minus of minus the plus cos theta n cap then it becomes 2 cos theta n cap plus sin theta t cap minus sin theta t cap get cancelled with each other. So e2 minus e1 is equals to 2 cos theta n cap. By using the concept of dot product, e1 cap dot n cap is equals to mod e1 bar into mod n bar into cos theta. We know the magnitude of these two unit vectors is equals to 1. Theta is angle between the two unit vectors. But here from the diagram, once you check the angle between E1 cap and N cap, extend the incident light ray. So, this is the direction of incident light ray. This is the direction of N cap. The angle between these two unit vectors we want. This angle is theta and this angle is 180 degrees. So, the angle between n cap and the e1 cap becomes to pi minus theta. So, in place of theta, take pi minus theta. The angle between n cap and the direction of incident light ray is pi minus theta. This value is 1 and this value also 1. 1 into 1. Cos 180 minus theta. In second quadrant, cos is negative and 180 minus theta. Cos remains cos only. So, it becomes to minus cos theta. So, from this, minus cos theta is equals to E1 cap dot N cap. Now, substitute this in this equation. Take this is equation. 3. So, from this, E2 cap minus E1 cap is equals to 2 into, in place of cos theta, take minus of E1 cap dot N cap. So, it becomes minus 2 into E1 cap dot N cap into, again here N cap is there, N cap. So, the vector representation of E2 cap is equals to E1 cap minus 2 into E1 cap dot N cap into N cap. This is the vector representation of law of reflection. Where E2 cap is the unit vector along the direction of reflected light ray. E1 cap is the unit vector along the direction of incident light ray and N cap is the unit vector along the direction of normal in upward direction. Remember this formula. This is very very important. So once again E2 cap is equals to E1 cap minus 2 into E1 cap dot N cap into N cap. If you want even cap, take this term to LHS side. In next video, I will give the numericals on law of reflection of light in vector representation. Okay, thank you students. Have a nice day. Bye.